I never use abusive words to you. Yeah, and he does it back call, in the you're, chat You're room. just subscribing to the typical Uncle Tom, nasty, dirty, low-minded, filthy, vitriolic, angst-ridden, barbarian, black barbarian that you are. Yeah, Okay? Serious. And at no point have I used any expletives. I haven't called you any kind of S words or any kind of at or star or S or whatever. Yeah, because he's like no that. No need. He's, he's schizophrenic. He, he, because he, he guess what? hot and cold. Guess what? Guess what? I can just about manage to articulate myself without using those words. Anyway, let's push on. Not, not let him just, I know okay, it, I, text sender 130. Hmm. Read your earlier comments, Haru. You were doing exactly what Diane Abbott wrote in her there tweet. There we go. Defense doing of what the, the colo sorry. colonial masters want cause division among our black people. That's your opinion. Calling her um, a house negro because she has a prominent position in the government. The bigot racism and propaganda press have written lies about her over the years and you know they hate her because it's because she has um, prolifically defended black issues and condemned government Rubbish. and police in the past. They usually keep her militant comments out of the press. Sorry, I'll go back to that text as we have a live why, call. Why, why, um, why is she in there then? She's hated by them so much. She ain't doing very much. I mean, I'm, I said that the community says this. I've heard this in the community so many times. They, they, they don't want to, um, 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 uh, 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 to, her to say these things. Why bother say it? Yeah, go on. You're live on Genesis. How about Risha Subuho? Yes, sir. That's good, bro. Oh, good and Margaret. Anyone I do. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, Why German, um, G? Um, Say tender Mari. Tender Mari. Tender Mari. Um, that's something to do with something to do with God, isn't it? Um, blessings be to God, or praises be to God, is tender Mari. Something like that, yeah. Like that, yeah. yeah um, anyway, back to the subject matter, which is about this racism business. Mm. I didn't like the way they did in the beginning of the new year, they seem to start on the black women in England and in America. They seem to be criticizing Obama's wife in this country, and they started on our precious, um, what's her name? The black woman in this country, the MP, what's her name? Diane, Diane Abbott. Abbott. Diane Abbott, yeah, they seem to have started on Diane for some reason. And when you, when you say um, psychogenetic, psychogenetic attitude, or supremacy, psycho meaning psychological, genetic meaning uh, referring to the Darwinian um, differentiation of species, where Darwin says that black people are thick, we're stupid, we're the lowest, we're the lowest um, intelligence out of all the species. But it's, it's now said by Caucasian people, the reason why Darwin said that black people were the most lowest of the, the, the species wasn't because it was this is Caucasian people saying it's not me. It's, it's, it wasn't because um, the, um, the, 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 the black people were inferior. It's because you had to justify or find some way of justifying or promoting the exploitation of the black people in the colonies. And he needed a, a, an excuse or a camouflage or a reason to justify that exploitation. So by saying that black people were inferior, that seemed to um, justify the Europeans to carry on a proceed with treating black people in an inferior way. See, yeah. And I'm, I'm back to reality now. When it comes to this, this Stephen Lawrence business, I'm very glad that it happened. And it just proves, it just proves the ideology of these racist, these racist people in this country. They're mostly Cockney speaking. Yeah, you know? and thick. And, and then as I said to you a few, a few, about nine months ago, I said to you, the Cockney accent, like the way that Reese speaks, yeah? Yeah. And a lot of the way these, these, these Cockney racist people speak, the Cockney accent is the worst accent of defeat on these British Isles. It's worse than the Irish, it's worse than the Northerners, it's worse than the Welsh, it's worse than the Scottish. In conspiracy against us black people. Yeah, that's every right. time I've, I've heard the 97.3, the, the 94.9, um, taking on racists to justify, to, sorry, to show sympathy for them 
the Gary Dobson and the Abergees that, got, that killed Stephen, that showed sympathy for them, all Cockney, every single one of them. The old to the show Cockney and the callers Cockney. So it's like, and and they, they sound like they had some criminal element to them, because don't forget it, them, them, them guy that still Stephen, one of their fathers, some big-time villain. Yeah. And they seem to have some criminal element to them. So it's like the, the worst racist to us in this London is working class Cockney white people who, who, who segregate themselves from us, who, who, who've got a, 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 a London accent. They seem to be the worst. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. you think it'll be the, the Yorkshire people or something, innit? That's right. Like out the sticks. That's right. We're like no black people. That's right. So, so at, least, at least we know the ID of, of, all, the, of, of all the enemies. There's one more thing I want to say. What was it? Um... Yeah, it seems like the, the turn of 2012 could be a racist agenda. Like they could have been sitting down saying, yeah, when 2012 comes, they start a campaign against black women. Get the weakest one of them. Yeah. yeah. Go, so, for the, go, go for the black people's weak point. Or they yeah. might say that, that these black women think they're too... They might be saying these black women think they're too powerful or because a lot of our black women, black women are turning professional, like social workers, politics, and working for the government, and solicitors, and barristers, etc. They might say they're a bit too powerful, and let's have a plan, a strategic plan, to, to do what I mean as soon as the new year starts. But don't let these people plan their things around, you know? That's right. Long time. We've got a, a program. Plan for us. Yeah, agenda. There's an agenda. A hidden... a gen- gen- yes, yes, yes. You said it. You said it. Agenda. A hidden agenda. And look, at the return of the year, they've dived on Obama's wife, they've dived on our, our darling, um, um, what's that, Diane Abbott, mm. for a, a tweet. Yeah. A personal tweet. That's Diane right. Abbott never said it in a newspaper. Yeah. She never uh, said it in... in, in, in 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 um in public to anybody, she said on a, a tweet that like yeah. you're talking to somebody. She knows and, what and she's doing. And when you think about it, dying, in dying Abbott's situation, being acne amongst all these um, poverty-stricken black people and ethnic people, obviously to talk their language, she'd have to say something like that to be realistic. That's right. Because she never they'd be they'd be have a guy oh writing down a place and saying she's selling them out. Well, I'm going to know she, she's coming out now, so she must have a, she must have her own agenda. Uh, why she's decided to take that stance? She never did in the beginning, but she decided to take that stance now and come out. She knew that it was going to get reported when she did. She sees, uh, she's not stupid. Her oh, back might be against the wall, and she sees her people's back against the wall, yeah. and she must be experiencing the racism from on top amongst them, the lords and ladies, and down below amongst the. Um, the working class people in their constituency. Because don't forget, a lot of the, the since since the last, the last election, a lot of right wing people have now entered politics with the BNP and the ads of parliament and all this thing, innit? Yeah, that's right. So they must have given a perpetual stick. Well, so she must have thought, oh, I've had enough. Well, there was another... the things that the sarcastic things they must have sound about, are like black people. That's black right. Girl, uh, all the time. All, all the time. Things. All the time. Even in the House of Parliament, they were calling a. Uh, I heard one of the members of the House of Parliament call another uh, minister a black monkey. It, it, right. Do you remember that? So, uh, um, what it is? There's another tweet that she sent about she's weary. Of, she's weary of any black person that says that they live in this country and have never experienced racism. That's another tweet. Tweet that she said uh, sent after the other one. Did you hear about well, she, that one? She, no, well, she, she's a flipping. Um, and she's a. Uh, she's got, um, what do they call um, when they let the people come and see them? What do they call that? Clinic. clinic. Yeah. Clinic. Yeah, she's got her own clinic. Yeah, that's right. So she, she wants some people coming daily. Oh, Brian, please. Someone call me a black. Oh, my son is getting racism at school. Oh, my, my, my wife's getting cursed on the spot on by on buses and all that. Just get it all the time. She wants to I've had enough. Yeah. I'm saying what's going on. Well, about time. It's about time. But anyway, I'm going to leave Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, don't let no one disturb the show, please. True. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, we won't read that. You're getting knocked off track by the yeah. argument in the back. But just, just ignore them things there, man. Okay, we, okay. we'll do that. We'll hey, do uh, that. Big up, then. Yeah, respect all the time. Um, Dion. Dion. Yeah, Au revoir, man. sir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Yeah, man. Yeah, we're not going to pay attention to any more of these silly comments made by people. But we'd like to give everybody a chance. So what, what, what we say here is this, right? In today's very small world, at least three quarters... I'm going to deal with the term racist again. Oh, oh. Uh, huh? Yeah, go on then. 
Okay, I was reading the text from 130 before Reese called in. Sorry, not Reese. Um, G, how could I get it so wrong? <laughs> <laughs> text uh, and uh, 130 was saying, read your earlier comments, Haru. You, you, read, you read that. I didn't read all of it. No, um, no. So I've started again. Um, That's a waste of time reading that. You thing. were doing exactly what Diane Abbott wrote in her tweet, doing what the colonial masters want cause division among our black people, calling her a house negro because she has a prominent position in the government. The bigot racist and propaganda press have written lies about her over the years and you run with it. Do you really know they hate her? Because it's, it's because she's proficiently defended Oh, sorry, no. She has prolifically defended black issues and condemned government and police in the past. They usually keep her militant comment out of the press that my being uplifting or encouraging to black people and lay weight anything they find offensive towards whites so they can lynch her. Think about it. Well, uh, listen, what I said was I heard it being bantered about in amongst the community. I myself didn't personally call her a house negress. I said, it's been said amongst us, I heard it so many times, I've never said it myself, right? Because actually I know my, my daughter, um, um, mother, knows uh, her family and Diane Abbott are, Abbott are friends. So, and they stayed at her house when she first came to England and reared to tear and reared to tear. You know, so that, that, that's, that's the Beckford family down there in Peckham. But, but I'm saying that um, they know her very well. So I didn't actually, I haven't said, I haven't made no comment on her personal personality. I've never said it. I said it's bantered among us that she is a house nigger. It's not, not, it's not what I'm saying. Because I've never made any comment on, 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 on her before. So I wouldn't do that. Right. But what we're trying to say is um, they the, the community feels or people, some people in the community feels that she hasn't done enough as a black woman. That is why that journalist tackled her. The journalist said, you ain't speaking on our thing. You ain't doing anything. And she turned and said, don't do what the white folks do. Divide and rule. So it's not a statement by me or anything like that. Or, or, or I don't have any judgment on her. On her. I'm just telling, letting you know what I've heard uh, bantered um, about among us about her. Some folks say this. So in today, so let me continue. In today's very small world, at least. Oh man. Sorry, just want to get it out before I forget because I've opened it. Text sender seven seven one says, "Give thanks." Brother and sister, in thank you for your commitment to the, our community. Trust your keep it up. Peace, love, and harmony for the so called 2012. I know this is not related to what you're talking about, but could you please tell me of any Kwanzaa Ethiopian events today? Give thanks. It's out there in the community. If anyone knows of any Kwanzaa or Ethiopian celebrations going on, please uh, call text into the studio 07931. Two seven six two three two. Right. So um right. So let me continue. It's very important I get this over. Uh, we're not going to be emotional about this. We're going to calm down. I know it's a very emotive subject, and we we will be high spirited. I can take that. So it, it doesn't matter. We're having a family discussion here. No knives are out. No guns are out, and we're not killing each other. We're having a a, a, a discussion, and we, oh, it's a two edged sword. We also we also educating the whites. Because their leaders didn't educate them. They kept them dark and ignorant. So those of you who want education, who, uh, who can look to the black community to explain to you why you're racist. And, why, and where you got this racism from. Since your own psychoanalysis can't tell you. Your own psychiatrist can't tell you. There's no unified theory on actual race relations as such. Because the very people who have to conduct race relations are the very people with angst, are the very people with pathology, are the very people who, 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 who's truth. And I'm entering that, that territory of intellectualism now, and I know that people, they guard this territory jealously. And, 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 and I don't care how many uh, um, 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 blacks want to defend the whites, that's their problem. And that's not going to deter me from telling the truth. I know they, because they love them so much, and have so much respect and awe, you know, and, 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 and that Polish Jew is darker than me. Trust me on this. 
and 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 yet we find those ones and usually defending not doing not helping the, the, the you, you they're actually fueling the fire by not telling the european how since his own people ain't telling him how they became racist since they're begging they're crying out where does racism come from they come to us again in all of their greatness and all of their this and that they still come to us and asking us what is this feeling i feel inside of me this is what they used to ask us uh, uh, the greeks used to ask the, the african priest about their own self they never knew about themselves they never knew about them we knew but we had to learn about ourselves first in order to tell them this, this shows you we, get, we ain't got a racist bone in us right we was we was willing to tell them help them not dominate and and because they're because they have a degree of inferiority right in your face and manage to turn it round to make it look great they, they, they've done a full 360 degrees with their with, with their inadequacy with their uh, uh, um, um, uh, um, in, numerical inadequacy they have dealt very well with it they've made something that is deficient look very good and desirable you know they clawed their way to the top the fangs and all blood and all blood and gore was the result of the europeans climb to fame so late in history so we're telling them about themselves we ain't doing nothing wrong we're, we're educating the european about himself how can we be wrong and polish too and 130 with their see they you guys ain't helping them you're not helping them by covering up for them and defending them that's not helping them we do more to help them overstand themselves so how can you condemn us for doing for educating the 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 the, the, the caucasoid about himself and really explaining his own angst to him we've been doing that from time immemorial from time we when we colonized them because we we did indeed colonize europe at one point here comes the bush people who they show uh, every day living in mud hut on the television right were the very self same people who gave the caucasoid his education yeah and we're doing it again we uh, uh, how many times have we to drag europe out of the her drudgery it was the more the black moors did it the first the, the, the last time the black moors came and educated the european right because we were the ones that had the knowledge and still have the knowledge yeah so what we do here and you should be proud of it you shouldn't find any problem with this you shouldn't be so defensive over this they need help so i all, all, all we doing here in genesis is to help them know themselves so when we draw for card this scientific card we make sure it's not emotional so we say in today's very small world at least three quarters of the people are non-white and the members of this non-white majority population are subjected to domination throughout their lives either directly or indirectly by a tiny minority of the world's people who classify themselves as white racism white supremacy then is revealed as one of if not the most important observable phenomena in the world today for which social behavioral and all other scientists which is a lot a bunch of rubbish they're wasting their time if they can't explain this you're not a scientist you're lying right all other scientists should be seeking an explanation instead of making bombs and 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 germ and, and germ warfare and making aids and killing people why don't they dedicate their scientific knowledge to explain their own behavior simple they want to explain everybody else's behavior they want to go around the world telling everybody to to become democratized they, they, uh, they want to tell us oh we're the f loving free the love freedom and individuality and and, and 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 other societies are wrong and they are right yet they couldn't come up with the explanation of their own race it's haunting them and and once that feeling is suppressed it will come out when they hangle our things when they handling 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 um housing 
when they're handling education, when their hands touch um, relationship, all of these knowledge is coming from a warped psyche. This is what we're trying to establish here. When they handle our things, our people activities, we're in trouble because it comes out in that. Do you understand this? Simplematics is not rocket science. The suppressed feelings get in the way when, they're, when they are dealing with us. This is, this is why we have to, um, we insist on making this clear because they are in charge, unfortunately, of all of our people activities. What a shame. The worst thing that could ever happen to us, right? And I think it's for a reason. I think that everything is for a reason. I think that the reason why they are allowed to have power, now, don't forget, you know, to the European, this interest in, in, in power is not the power to do. They're not interested in the power or the energy to do. What they are interested in is the power over. You see, that's what they're interested in. This is what the whole society, the whole culture is geared. It's following its primordial instinct, its, its, its matrical instinct of dominance and, I don't know, um, dominance and control as a result of suppressed feelings. It's simple, isn't it? Now, do you feel a little bit better? It doesn't make me hate them. It makes me overstand them a bit more. And then you heard um, my friend two lifetimes says, he, since, since my shows, he's got a more overstanding. He, he, he says no, he doesn't hate nobody. So this, this will not bring hatred. So don't panic. Don't panic. It's not going to make you hate no one. But it's going to make you have a, 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 a more overstanding. And you're able to then look at them and overstand their angst. So, um, this is the whole ethos of this program. Now, I hope I made that clear. You feel a bit better now. You can relax now. Okay? Good. So, it's revealed as one of the, if not the most important observable phenomena in the world today for which social behavioral and all other scientists should be seeking an explanation. But they're not. They're too busy making bombs. They're too busy wiping out Hiroshima and Nagasaki. See what their science is dedicated to? Not the, the, the betterment of humanity, but the destruction. The limiting. They want to limit the future. This is what their agenda is. They don't want the future to happen. So if they can limit it as much as they can by destroying the resources of the world, they don't care about how many... Um, poison toxics that they have brought up uh, uh, out of the earth to fuel their system. The world can't handle their system. You need about 10 or 50 worlds to handle their, their type of um, rape resources. Rape that they have committed on, 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 on Mother Earth. So it goes on. As I said, th there's a reason for all of this. The reason is, there's a reason why this is happening to us. You know, I say this all the time. So I'm not going to leave you without appointment. I'm not going to leave you with a bag of fear. I want you to have this understanding that everything is for a reason. I'm not going to leave you like that without appointment. I'll give you the whole thing. The whole nine yards or the full 100. So you have a, a holistic understanding of the position that we're in today. So I'm, I made friends with you now. I hope I have. So we, 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 we proceed. Heretofore, forsooth, heretofore, I like that word, heretofore, <laughs> racism. Does it make you sound intellectual? Yeah, let me sound, yeah, a proper cocker sword. Heretofore, <laughs> forsooth. Get on with oh, it. Oh, yeah, sorry, all right then. Um, racism has been defined and described variously. See Galati. Comma. You heard about those guys? Google him. Golotti. Coma. Butts and Pin Pinderhu. That's a definite European name. Pinderhoos. Yet in my view, the comment made by Oliver C. Cox in his nineteen fifty nine award winning text, Cast, Class and Race 
monthly review press still prevails. He says, it is not ordinarily realized that all of the great mass of writing on race relations, there is available no consistent theory of race relations. The need for such a sociological explanation is so great that recently, when one author succeeded with some degree of superficial logic in, explana in explaining the phenomena in terms of caste relations, the college textbook, textbooks and social science journals almost unanimously and unquestioningly hurriedly adopted his theory. Because you know they had no other recourse. They can't face themselves. One thing you must know about Europeans, they can't face their own inferiority. They can't handle paradox. They can't. Any dissension. They, can't. they don't like intellectual war. Because they fought over a, the a, a theology. Fought. Catholics and the Protestants. And the uh, 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 Gnostics and the, uh, and, and the Jews, or what do you want to call them? Fishers, fighting, goof, left, fisticuffs over whether Jesus Christ was made flesh or not. <laughs> so all you church out there thinking, not realizing that it is, it, it, is, it is a falsification as we flesh the skeleton of truth, we are made more wiser. So hang on to your seatbelts. Perhaps social and behavioral scientists have failed to develop a sound and consistent theory of racism because of their tendency to be less demanding and less stringently disciplined in sticking to observable and measurable data than the so-called physical science are, scientists are required to be. In formulating hypotheses, frequently Contrary to all the basic premises of modern science, statements are made by some of these scientists a prior. That is to say, claimed as valid independent of observation. Similarly, society is general, in general, in general, where are we? Fails to impose a significant amount of pressure on behavioral and social scientists to yield viable theories and definitions. Such theories and definitions subsequently can stand and function as efficient and effective tools to be utilized by social engineers as guides for changing social reality. So come on, um, European, tell us how you do this. Look, you know, come up with some real theory, not, not some 23rd chapter of your imag emotional imagination. However, the contrary seems to be the case. If there is any pressure at all, it is to maintain the social status quo. And that's it. They're not concerned about the truth. They're in a psychological war here. They don't want to lose the psychological war. They don't want to become inferior. I remember one of them on the radio said, it's not very nice to, to um, we don't want to face the truth. And this is admitted on the, on, on the radio. He said, um, it's not a very nice thing to know that um, it wasn't us that did certain things. This is, this is a confession coming from a caucasoid. Uh, an, an objective one, if I may say so. Uh, uh, not he, to mention the one that said, um, we don't want to put ourselves in too much of a bad light when we're um, explaining yeah, slavery. That's right. We, we, we can't take it. It's not us, but they can't take it. And because of that, you have people like them in the chat room there. One in, one's in the chat room, they're talking a lot of cods wallop. And not helping the people them out by letting them know them. They, they want to run us down and they want to criticize us because we, we're hurting their brethren. They must be living with some of them. I can bet they must be married. Well, if you're married to, to them, I, I haven't got no problem with people marrying other races. No way. Not the way he, he speaks right? about women. So what if kind of language well, he wants to use well, concerning women. Well, if, if, how could, they should be raped. And, no, yeah, therefore he and, could, the gener and your no, generation. No, but therefore, therefore it could be a man then. <laughs> what it are you could saying? be a man. 
too many fellas in one ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're defending that man, and this kind of angst that some of these and a the brother's darker than me. Anyway, that shows you something, and he's hurt. He feels venom. He wants to. You want to see him in the chat? You want to see what he put in the week chat room there? Week after week after week. Damn. Full of malevolent My rubbish. My God, you, you, you read them and say you love them so much. What have they done for you? Damn. This is showing you the, the pathology that lies in some of us. Anyway, however, the contrary seems to be the case. If there is any pressure at all, it is to maintain the social status quo. And all too often, institutions of the society reward the superficial, inconsistent, and dysfunctional theories of soital dynamics. They're not telling the truth. They're lying all the time. They're burying their feelings. So we're telling you, European that the reason why you're racist now are we coming up to the point where I want to deal with the term racist race rather right tick 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 yeah it's no, gone I know. don't worry about it I'm gonna be doing this I'm gonna take my time here I'm not gonna rush You've over got this. till nine o'clock anyway yeah I'm gonna take my time here I'm not gonna rush this sorry folks just stay with me now don't fall asleep on me now you know what I'm saying so I want you to just look at this term what they call um, race. And this is coming from a European. And his name is Bradley. And they hate him because he told them the truth. They hate him. Now you've got to get over your hate, European. Stop hating, man. Naughty boy. Naughty, naughty. Because you're a child. You've always been a child. When the Greeks came to the African priest and says, Ask him the question, guess what the African priest told to them? Oh, you Greeks, you Greeks, you will always will be children. There's nothing old in your culture, nothing that's old. That's why they keep moving from point to point to point to point. In a union, a, a union linear, a, a, a linear, a linear mode of mindset. From one point to the other, that's why they're talking about let's move on. And I, you know what? I, I, I hate this term. Naughty, naughty. Let's with move. The hate. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I bet you. I don't like. I dislike the term that they use. Move on from point to point. I dislike it. Let's move on. No, we're secular, cynical. We go like the uh, Earth, natural rotation round. We don't go straight. We go straight, and then envelopes. It, that straightness is enveloped with cyclicalness. I think it's a, a circularity. That's a better word. You like that, that one? Did you just make that up? No, but it sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Zoe, who is text sender 671, says, mm. what did you do? Uh, why did the teacher say stand in the corner every morning? Sorry, I didn't get it. Thanks. Oh, sorry. Well, what the teacher said to me was, put your face in the corner. Why? They were, no, I don't, ask me now. I don't know. That's because why. he didn't... St- um, a salute uh, no, her. No, she hated me for my colour. That's the only thing I can deduce from all of this. I'm thinking, but I never done enough. It's my first day. I don't know this wooden f- woman from Adam. First day at school. The first I've seen it. It looked horrible in this ugly car that it drives. <laughs> you know so imagine turning up for school on your first day. And because you didn't follow the rules, you knew you just standing there looking at yeah, everyone else, right. watching the play going on. Yeah, thinking, wondering what the hell's going what, on. Well, what are they doing and why? Yeah, and asking the myself the question. teacher sees that you haven't joined the group, you have not That's conformed. Right. That's right. And says, you, get to my office. Yeah, you two, come here. Stand <laughs> against the wall right. and don't look up until I say yeah. so. Put your nose, I, mean, I remember the smell, the musky smell. I can never forget it, man. This is what happened to me, man. I These can, are the atrocities that uh, visited If I smell anything the damp, runners. if I smell something damp and musky. Up to now. I, yeah, it triggers off that, 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 that thing in me. Because I remember the wall, the smell of the wall and the, my breath bouncing back on my nose. I'm wondering, why am I standing in this corner? Right? And this is the great 20th, 20th century, which, which they say, 21st. And if they didn't get rid of their race, if they haven't dealt with their racism right there and then, how the hell are they going to be dealing with it now, so 20 years or so later down the road? Are you mad? Are you mad? So, folks, hold tight. Now we're going to deal with this term race. Hold tight. Fasten your seatbelts. We're about to take off. <laughs> Whether I can drive the plane or not is another story. But Gung got, ho. But we drive put, it anyway. <laughs> but we put a whole heap of parachutes, whole heap of parachutes in the plane so you can 
Bail out. <laughs> so if, if we're going to look at this term race now, shall we? Remember, we're educating this morning. Not only educating ourselves, but we're not only the white race, the other, it's offspring, the Asians as well. The European offspring. Remember, the Asians are the children of the European. And guess who is their mother? Guess who are the Asians? And Asians won't tell you this because they're just as racist as their father. Probably even more so. With a caste system. Yeah, and that shows you it's in the blood. Because when somebody gets some European blood, they become hateful too because it's carried in the genes. So when they created the Asian, the mulatto, right? The mulatto carried the an father's angst. Now, I'm telling you the truth. I ain't lying. Read the destruction of the black civilization by Chancellor Williams. It explains everything for you. You have to bust your brain uh, uh, to try to work out why people are racist. But you look at their origin, their beginning, their behavior. You see there's a, a, a pattern that runs with frightening speed throughout the existence. The scientists call it chronology. Yeah. Chronology. That frightening means speed. That means chronology is the times and dates where stuff begins and ends, where you move from one thing to another. That's right. We so, call it cycles. They call it chronology. That's right. Chronology. Text sender 130 says, those who call her house negro do so based on her position as an MP in the white man's arena. Next time you get, next time, get your friends to be specific and do not accept substance-less sound bites. Dion, you are a well-read woman. Perhaps you may articulate her stance on stop and search, death in police custody, black people disproportionately incarcerated, and innocent black men's DNA held on register, etc. No, the no, no, bigots no. won't highlight anything she has challenged in the system about, about they need to perpetuate main and maintain divide and rule. And for black people who do not believe... She's a house negro. Wine, wise up, people. Well, let me tell you, it's not about Diane Abbott. This is bigger than Diane Abbott. You won't get me on a, on a lens. She tried to, tried to di distract me from what I'm trying to say. It's not about Diane Abbott. She's only a little small piece in a big puzzle here. A little tiny wheel in a big, in co in a, uh, turning a big cog of racism. I'm not going to be uh, sidetracked with Diane Abbott. I'm only using Diane uh, as an example. So get it right. And, and just down. for information, I admire her fact that she's gone and challenged them in their own backyard. That's admirable. Okay. okay so, so, so one of two things. We need more of her. Well, as I said, I, I don't think, I'm not even going to be going there about dying. It's not about, it's bigger than dying, Abbott, man. Forget her. She's only just on the other side track. What are we going to say? We're going to look at the use and the value of the term race. During what our historians like to call the age of enlightenment, Linnaeus began to analyze the complexity of the natural world and to reduce the various plants and animals into classifications of similar types. Linnaeus included man in the animal world and recognized only one human species as existing presently. In the 10th edition of his Systema Naturelle, that's French, Naturelle, 1785, Linnaeus listed six varieties of this one human species and four of these varieties Europius, Asiasticus, Aram Americanus and Afa <laughs> roughly reflected the inhabitants of continental masses. The word race itself see see I'm doing I am doing what those dishonest getting paid for nothing good for nothing journalists on on, 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 on the mainstream station. You should sack them. They don't hear anything like this. I'm not a well-read man. I haven't got no qualifications by myself. I don't even know what an exam room looks like. But what I do have is a divine intelligence. <laughs> Tahuti. Which is, a, is all wisdoms found within it. I don't need no classroom or no uh, a certificate by no caucasoid uh, to, to, to make me feel like I know something. Cecil Rhodes Scholarship. Huh. Ain't it weird? Anyway, so we're looking at the use 
and the value of the term race during what our historians like to call the Age of Enlightenment. I read that already. So he said the, uh, the, 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 these four species, Euro Europeus, Asiaticus, Americanus, and Afa, roughly reflected the inhabitants of the continental masses. The word race itself was introduced into scientific literature by Buffon. What a name. Name suits him. Buffoon. Suits him. Buffoon. A Buffon then. I call him Buffoon. In his History Naturel uh, Generale et Particular, whatever that is, 1749. And he uses the term in a very general sense to mean kind or variety. It didn't mean another human. As some of you uh, brain dead um, think it means. There's only one human. And that's the black man. The rest are nuances. The rest are mutations of that one black man. So right there we can shut the shop and go home. And we can forget about it. Right there and then if we wanted to. That's conclusive. Definitive. Factual. And you still want more. Okay. I'll give you more. So we have here that uh, uh, continent, the word race itself was introduced by this, guy, this buffon guy in, uh, uh, and he uses the term in a very general sense to mean kind or variety. So when we say we're racist, we, how, does, how does it work? You see, you, you see the difference? You see it? You see it? I, I, in, in, in an instant, I have exposed them. No such thing! So, so who's, who's a book by? Can we, can we like... A um, book by no, Bradley. Bradley who? Uh, Bradley when? I've lost, I had this book so long that I've lost the cover. Hang on, let me look if I can find it. Oh, hold on. It's called Iceman Inheritance by... Uh, what's his name? Jason, for Jason... Oh no, is it, that's 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 Michael Bradley. Michael Bradley, it's what's it called? 1978, Iceman, I don't know if you can get this bit more. You know. Iceman Inheritance, uh, by who? Michael Bradley. Michael Bradley. Right? And you, I've got a copy, can, I, I'll see if you can Just get about. one. Just about. Yes, it's, it's in pieces, <laughs> man. But well thumbed then. I keep it, because yeah, what? I have to keep it, and I've lost the page where I'm reading from. Damn! Uh, where are we? Let so. me tell you, you won't get this from War Systems. Waterstones. Now try you my man down in Peckham. What's his name? Zion, Zion, Zion Lee Arts. Zion Lee Arts. Try. He, he said to me, some of the books that you got, we can't get them anymore. So you have to rely on me then. <laughs> I ain't lying. So we say we understand. Are you, now are you Mention under... Mention the initiation program with Haru and you will get a discount. Mm. No, you, you, are you, is it more clear on this word race? This misnomer. So it's something else then we're dealing with. They're hiding behind this term race then, aren't they? Since it's, not, since it's uh, unexplicable, since it's um, undefinable, not even scientific. Something else. It's something else. Don't let them fool you. Talk about racism. It's easy for them to talk about racism. But what is it? What does it mean? And who said it first? Is it scientific? I don't no. think so. I told you who introduced it. It's coming, it's coming from the minds of white people. People? Socrates, a philosopher, my son turned it back on me, said, search for all knowledge, mm. question everything. So the, the word race itself was introduced into scientific literature, introduced, you know, by Buffon. All right, we said that. He uses the term, and, very general sense, and, and then you've got his brethren, his sidekick. In 1775, another one called John, John, Joanne, or Johan, Johan, 